I'm going to try and show you something about these fake planes that um, if I tried doing the video and pulling the bits together that I'm trying to tell you it'd take me so long so I'm going to do this by using the computer screen and showing the bits and pieces that I think are relevant it's about this video, decloak fake plane plus analysis and about fake plane plasma craft single engine with sound, it's about these two and I want to show you something um, there's other people recognising this but I filmed uh, this one about two years ago and um, then I saw something else that related to this so I'll just get on with it anyway see what you think okay decloak fake plane plus analysis I'll just whip through this down this is what a fake plane starts out of as and we can see as this craft is moving towards this cooling tower you can actually see that which is a it's like a well what could you say it is it's it's like it's a round shape that's grey with bits protruding out of it. So you've got a light there, a light there. So this is what I started considering that could be the projector. If we're talking that these craft are actual projections, then wouldn't it be right to say there is a projector? That's what I think is the projector. And I think, and obviously me thinking is only my opinion, I think that when these things fly overhead, these projectors turn on and we have uh, a fake plane, uh, a craft that looks like a plane that isn't. It's just um, a projection. These are only my thoughts. I've been seeing these things for two years and I didn't find them, they found me. You know, I'm not, I was never that interested in UFOs. Not to even to say that these are UFOs because we don't know what they are. The definition of a UFO is quite different between different people. Some people see it as um, a craft of energy that would be ethereal that would be in another another vibration and not solid that's what I think a true definition of a UFO is um, not a disc because discs you know the disc craft so it's been proven that they're actually from from earth the back engineered German discs you know I mean all this kind of thing so what what is the definition of a UFO this is only a UFO because it's it's unidentified but looks like a plane so everyone thinks it's a plane but yeah we can get into that debate of what is and what isn't a UFO and you know what there's that much debating goes on here everyone kind of misses the point what I've been trying to say is the here that's it I don't really want to argue with anyone about what they are because we all have the ability ability to choose what we believe and quite often in that belief we're you know we get biased and I don't want to spend all my life on YouTube even though it is a, a very important time but I've got other things that I like doing I'm not a one trick pony this isn't my only thing that I do I like doing other stuff but I don't put it on YouTube because I don't, maybe I'll put stuff I like on. But this is something that I saw as people should be getting their shit together to say, yes, they are here, letting go of old programs 
and believing stuff that they've never believed before. Anyway, that's me having a little bit of a, not even a rant, I suppose, a little bit of a chat. Anyway, so this is the deal. This must be a projector of sorts. That's what I believed. So as we go on, <clears throat> and this is where I stopped and analysed this video, and it's it's still 132 views, no justification there. But we all know, it depends what you put up here that relates to what you get down there. I try and be straight, tell you what I think it is. I don't really want to put UFO, but it's UFO that pulls all the, that pulls all the hits in. But that's not what it's about, really. But it, it is annoying, really, considering I spent a lot of time... You know, it's pretty paltry, 132 views, considering what, what we're actually seeing. And anyway, I digress. OK. So here we go. This is slowed down. So look at this. That's what we're looking at. That there. That's what I think is the projector. Anyway, bear in mind, decloak fake plane UFO plus analysis. Interesting one. Now, I'm showing that that's that. Okay, that was that. Um, two years ago or something like that. Now, this was the other one the other night. New fakers in town, single engine. So, there we go. That's the. Just a little bit of fiddling with this camera. Um, this is the video, and I'm just going to get to the relevant bits. And the relevant bit is about here. Now, you see this? This here, it's lit up now. But I think this is this is very relevant. This, I think this is the um, projector because it's a different colour light and then as we go on a bit further and I'll focus this going on this as we go on a bit further right, round about there it's a little bit fiddly doing it this way but do you know what it's easier than the hours and hours I would be spending trying to patch some video together right now as we look at that just trying to this this This, I can't really focus that well on it, but this is what I believe is the projector. You can see it. There. It's quite hard filming off the screen, never realised. So I've just managed to focus this a little bit better. And this is what I'm looking at. <laughs> Another focused picture. No, it's not what I'm looking at, I'm gone. Switch to manual, see if that's any better. I'm looking at that. That is what I consider is the projector. Seeing UFOs, Alison de Cruz filmed this the other night. I sent her a message, don't know whether she got it, but that's that's what she was filming, that. Now I think that is the projector unit. I might be wrong, I don't know, but there's absolutely no information coming forward about these, these craft at all. So, we can only surmise, make our own opinions and our own names up for them.
blinkies, whatever you want to call them. I don't know. Um, so there we go. That's uh, pretty much what I wanted to say. I'm just going to bring some stills up that I took. Um, so you can have a, a bit of a better look. That's the unit there. This. And you know, if you're still struggling with the concept that that isn't attached to that, then you're going to have to get over it. And I do believe the people that know know, and the people that don't know have no chance of knowing, um, because they won't allow themselves to believe in something that hasn't been, that they haven't been told by the government or someone else. So I'll just click on another one. It's a pretty good one. And that's what they are. It's, these are clear. He's a clear. Just getting not really. It, it's like a, a, a ball of. Mo uh, and look, look at that. Looks like there's a face in there. Anyway, that's just by the by. There you go. As the light comes on, I believe this is projecting that. So, go and have a look, see what you think. That's my screensaver, my dog, Motley. Anyway, see what you think. Um, what can I say? That's about it. Cheers. Just one more thing I'd like to add is this. That these fake plane craft UFOs whatever they are are here in abundance I can see as many as 15 flashing lights in the sky at night I'm not saying every night but they're very low they are checking this area out and they're obviously checking it out for some reason or other it'd be nice to know who they are it'd be nice to dismiss the idea that they could be military but we don't know but they're here for a reason and I, I also think that they are possibly aware of uh, certain individuals. I've had a couple of cases where I've been thinking about, especially this fake helicopter thing, and I was just thinking about it and it's just appeared. I've thought of it one night, turned around and it was behind me. So the experiences that I've had are far outweigh what you've seen on the internet. I've done stuff like chased a huge golden ball at over 120 miles an hour down one of the local roads. I had to stop because I knew that if I carried on, uh, I might be uh, not on this planet too long. So I stopped, watched it, and this was this was two and a half years ago. And I watched this ball swing round, and then the next minute I'm looking at. A, an airplane, a fake plane. That's the capability they have. So I just wanted to add that little bit that they're here, they're all over this town, St. Helens, Merseyside. And you know what? People around here really don't care. They're too interested in rugby.